Hello guys, this is Game of Thrones, a Telltale game series, uh, and it's the best way to learn English by playing computer games. Okay, let's start. Maybe this time I will translate some interesting words in English to Russian. For example, I don't know, the watchman. In Russian it's Tazorny, the wall, Stina, the wildings, Adichavi, uh, right, etc. Let's start. Play continue. Episode 1. Lady Margaret's chamber. Let's keep King's Landing. Examine. Strange key. Pick up. Pick up. Strange key. Next, take seal. What is seal? Looks like Russian. Marjorie? Call Svertek. Oh. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Nera, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Thank you, Sarah. But I have to do this myself. If you feel that way. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you, if you ever need My lady, I'll leave you to talk. What did he say? What did King Joffrey say, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. But my family, they're still in danger. Your family isn't the only thing in jeopardy, Mira. My little brother is only seven years old. I'm afraid for him, for all of them. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. Bad news. Forrester family. My lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I 
just want you to know, I, I can help you if you'd like, and your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things, things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. I hope so. You made the right decision, my lord. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I want these hills. Right. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. Aren't you the little lord? And Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many. But not this, the pattern. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Uh, there's no way. I my lord. To, I have to do ha. this. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. No, Lord Ramsay. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. Our men are dead. Yours lived. 
Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal Bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. We grow them, we cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does. Mm -hmm. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always want one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the wise lord? <laughs> oh, oh, Ethan! Oh. No! What have you done? No! But I don't know. Why? Far too much trouble. Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy of your ward. No! Kill him. Take him through any trouble. Lovely meeting all. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Catch the maester quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mother! Please, stop! No, 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 no. Let it go! Stop them! No, please! Stop it! Let me go! Let them die! Do something! Ethan? My son. Game of Thrones. story has begun next time Ethan sacrificed himself for us all he saved Talia's life 
they'll be remembered as Ethan the Wise. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? person left bowing behind you and 31 person sorrow loyalty to Marjorie took Eric's fingers picked Duncan as Sentinel meet Ramsey in the Great Hall okay continue Titles. Play episode two. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall. Begin. on Game of Thrones. These are dark days, I fear. <laughs> the North Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but it's a risk I cannot afford. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Ethan. No. Don't let them take me. Whoa, it's just me, Beska. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. This stuff is They'll weak compared soon. to Northern Ale. Is that why? Or blood. Taste it and find out. Talk to Beska. Ale goes in yellow, comes out yellow, wastes time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. 
You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... No, oh, does Asha scare you? <laughs> you should see him when he's angry. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best stores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. We could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now we're gonna be. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To 800 gold dragons in our pocket. Well said. Veske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazaar. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Is that Tazal? From the Volantis job. Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is eight. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Give us eight hundred and you can have it. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell! And we're done with you, too. Calm down, Tizal. We can still work out a deal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezan. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponteos in us! Ojos me nomi jahoso kisikas! 
You know what this reminds me of? Yeah, well. <laughs> that brothel in Novus. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. to go. Brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Lost Lords, episode two.
That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> not this time. Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable in his bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have forest today. They're forest. Look at their <sighs> colors. Fine, please. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <sighs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. I... Don't worry, sir. <laughs> 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 It is you, sir. Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester, Roderick. now that's it Roderick my lady no. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery please I want to see my son how is he will he live only if you let me finish my work let him sir my lady I must insist that you leave no. Roderick what have they done to you these wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Talia. Good to see you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost fuck. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? Come here, sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. 
and your face. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan didn't even resist. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> You're stronger than that. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, I'll but... I'll be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... Only one way to find out. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Roderick, why you don't help me, my little sister? I'm fine. Well, give me a hand at least. I'll call someone strong. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. The wall. Garrett Tuttle. Castle Red. So black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Recruit. 
Recruits at the gate! Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits. Are all dead men, but don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Gareth Tuttle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. You don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart, <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat some shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again, <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead, and they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? 
These hideous. <laughs> Had a he run in with Waldo Clay, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, right, Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker, your legs or this house? My men may be few, but they'll die before you keep me from my hall. Go on then, my lord. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Oops. Seer Roderick. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole I've told you, I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldier. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. I will have order! Of course. Apologies, my lord. <laughs> the White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. My betrothed is 
Coming to Ira? Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Keep them drunk. It's better than inciting them to violence. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the Ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him, and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Nera. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen, can you imagine? I wonder who it was. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. <laughs> I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Nira? It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. 
You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Buckhead, you might be new here, but you're in my spot, so move. I'm not moving. <laughs> Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. Shh! You'll get us in trouble. Don't be such a bootlicker. That this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. <laughs> Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? <laughs> you fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cotter the potato fucker. <laughs> There's one for the songs. <laughs> Boy, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Now don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Total. Who was it? These two were arguing. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. <laughs> Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow. Are oh, you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. 
Rosfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. This is home now. Doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're at. Ah! Oh, my <laughs> Man's ready to shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Something wrong with your eyes? Front up. Again, up. Same. That was way off the mark. Right target, chest. Good. Center, between the eyes. I can't uh, move up. No way. <laughs> Stop daydreaming. Missed a few, but uh, well done overall. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. sword. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck.
will fall. <laughs> Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Say it's 700 feet tall and 8,000 years old. Okay, looks like I complete training and can go speak to Frostfinger. I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? Sir, have you heard of the North Grove? Of course I've heard of it. Just like I've heard of snarks, brumpkins, and children of the fucking forest. It's all horse shit. Now if there's nothing else you need... I want to know when I'll be taking my vows. You arrived yesterday, Tom. Worry about me, not your vows. I've answered your questions. So why are you still standing here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. Didn't think so. Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. That's the door to the mess hall. They deserve it more than stew. <laughs> Can't go up. It's stairs. Ah. Place is falling apart. Maybe they need more builders. to burn. Barrel, lift. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. Easy. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall, and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Want some help?
I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cold. <laughs> if the thing has it frozen off. I'll be a ranger. Just you watch. Not holding my breath, brother. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little Fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. <laughs> Fuck. Didn't, and Garrett defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you, I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. <laughs> I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. Okay. That's enough for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like it. If you really like, press like, subscribe to my channel, and see you soon. Bye bye.